critical thing. So the lecture for today is on work and kinetic energy, but we are now on the second part of the discussion. Remember, what I did is to um, divide the discussion into two. So first, um, before the reading break, that's uh, a Friday, if I remember correctly, uh, uh, we have discussed scalar product and work. So in that case, we have discussed what the dot product or the scalar product it is, and we use that uh, the definition of the scalar product to define what brick is. Remember, brick is just a dot product of the force and the displacement. And then now we will continue our discussion of work. We just have another example for you. And then we discuss the relationship between work and the so-called kinetic energy. Okay, so that's will be that will be our discussion for today. So um, our the outline for today's discussion is on we just review some topics on on work and then we apply our knowledge of work in understanding what's the relationship between work and kinetic energy. So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw. Now, here are the objectives of this session. At the end of this, um, the second part of lecture 14, you should be able to first determine the total work done on a system by several constant forces. Second, relate the work done by a constant force to the change in kinetic energy of the system. Observe change of kin in kinetic energy, not just the kinetic energy. We'll see la that later. Um, we will define what's known as the work kinetic energy theorem. Okay, and then we apply the work kinetic energy theorem, yun nga, work kinetic energy theorem, to systems with constant forces, and then, yun na. <laughs> so, these are the object, that, those are the objectives for um, this discussion. So, let's recall work. So, naalala nyo pa, if there is a constant force acting on a displacement, over a displacement S, now, note here, oh, nakalimutan ko i-emphasize to last time, the, the force here is on. It means that it should act on the body. Huwag kayong malilito dyan. Kasi there will be times na yung body yung nag-act ng, ng force. So, ayun, medyo magkaka magkakaiba ng sign yan. So in that case, for a force acting on a certain body, the work done on that body, when that body moves with some displacement F vector, it's given by the dot product of F and S. Ayan, alam na natin yung F dot S lang yan. So, um, or um, if phi is the angle between the force vector and the displacement vector, this Fs cosine phi, given by equation 14.4. So again, phi is the angle between Fs and F and S. Remember, kung nagde-define ka ng dalawang vectors dyan, if, if this is the F, F, F vector, the force vector, and this is the displacement vector, it's from um, tail to tail. So this is that angle phi here. Tama? Naalala? Naalala to? Yes. Okay, I hope you remember. Kung di, kung di maalala, pwedeng balikan yung video lectures. Eh. Video lectures sa math. Okay, and then this is again a scalar product. Therefore, ang work dapat walang unit vector na lalabas dyan. Work should be not may i hat. Wala dapat i hat, j hat yan. Na, walang ganyan. Um, scalar product siya. Therefore, scalar dapat ang sagot. Work is a scalar. Okay, and then only the component of the force parallel to the displacement contributes to work. Uh, um, ngayon, pwede mong tanongin, eh, sir, nasa napupunta yung, yung perpendicular component? Uh, Again, the perpendicular component, next time na yan, pag-uusapan natin kung saan napupunta yung perpendicular component for um, for the force vector. Meron na pinupuntahan niya. Okay? And then, the SI unit is joule. Um, this should be small. Uh, sorry, this should be small. No? Kapag nagsusulat kayo ng units, dapat small kapag in-install in out yung sila. Like, for example, it should be Newton and that capital N. This is not that. No? Small N yan. Okay? And one joule is one newton meter or one kilogram meter squared per second squared. So, uh, uh, medyo, re hindi naman review, medyo pahapyaw sa first exam. So, ito ay one um, kilogram is mass, length squared over time squared. Yan yung kanyang units uh, in the usual mass length time scale. So, okay, may questions ba rito? This is just a review. May questions ba rito? None so far. May ba? Okay, wala naman. So, again, um, the work is just Fs cosine phi. Um, if the angle phi is from 0 to 90 degrees, we expect that the work is done is positive. And um, if the angle phi is from 90 to 180 degrees, then um, the work done will be negative because um, your component ng force parallel to the direction of the displacement is now anti-parallel to it. Hence, what we expect is that the work done is negative. And if phi is equal to 90 degrees, then um, since F and S are par perpendicular to each other, then we see that the work done is now equal to zero. The to there's no work done on the particle. So kaya kapag nagbuhat ka ng object, tapos dinala mo yung object from one place to another, wala kang kina kinagawang work done. Okay? Questions? Are there any questions in this topic? None so far. 
Okay. So I'll add some topics that's related to work, which is, uh, uh, kung napansin nyo, yung definition natin ay for a single force on a single displacement. Now, the question now is, what if there are several forces acting on a particle? If there's, there are several forces and acting on a particle, then you just need to sum all the works. Ganyan. So the total work is just the sum of the works done by each of the forces. So F1.S plus F2.S plus and so on. Yun lang yung gagawin. I-add mo lang sila kasi remember, your works are scalar quantities. Therefore, they can be added na hindi mo kailangan mo component form. Kasi hindi naman yung vector. Okay? So if the total work done is just equal to um, the sum of the forces, um, uh, sorry, force times displacement, which is dot product, force dot displacement, and then you add them. Ganun lang. We'll have an example of this one later. Uh, and now, ang tanong ngayon, what if the, the, the displacement of the, of the body is like on a curve? So for example, uh, instead of straight line yung object, pag ganito yung curve niya. So I can define a curve C here and say that, okay, um, pwede ko namang approximate na pwede kong hati-hatiin yan. Pwede kong hati-hatiin yan into different slices. And each slice, approximately, para siyang straight line. And, in, and each of that, pwede ako mag ng force vector dyan. Tapos, this is some infinitesimal displacement. So, I can define this as some dis differential of the displacement Vx vector and say that, okay, the dot product at this particular position here, particular displacement here, is just the f dot Vx. Diba? And then what I do is I sum all of these contributions and I'll get the total work done about this curve, on the particle about this curve. So ang tawag doon ay infinitesimal work and, ay sorry, mali pala. For a particle that moves along a curve C, so kung meron kang curve C, ang mangyayari lang is you have an integral. Remember, kapag nag-sum ka uh, ng, works, ng work is just, uh, so para contribution siya ng f dot d s1 plus Yes, but remember, these differentials are very small. Therefore, yung summation mo nagiging integral. Ganun lang siya. So, yun. And we will not use this equation here. Hindi natin siya masyadong gagamitin. But this is the more general definition of, of what work is. Now, in 1D, in 1D, the work done is just equal to f dx. That's an integral of where the force here is now a function of position. Okay. That's another important thing pala. Namunti ko mga kalimutan. Um, in our cases here, in energy and work, what, what we will be doing are forces that are dependent on position, not dependent on time. Not necessarily dependent on time. Forces that, are, that will vary only depending on the position. Huwag yung kakalimutan yun. That will be important um, uh, when we distinguish work from momentum, for example, or energy from momentum. Because in momentum, we are now dealing with forces that vary in time. Okay. May questions ba tayo rito? May questions? None so far. None, okay. 